Okay, here's something I've been wanting to try for a while. Uh, finally dug out an old Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. And you can see here I'm on this GitHub page. Uh, a tool aimed to retrieve information of cellular networks. I, I know I did a video on using the uh, RTL SDR for LTE. Uh, this is not using the RTL SDR Hacker F. It's actually using the Samsung Galaxy S5 USB connection and the Android SDK and taking advantage of the uh, service mode in the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is a Sprint phone that I had laying around here. It's the stock uh, Android 6 firmware. It's, uh, it's rooted, it's been like that for a long time. Uh, let's see, I also have the developer op uh, options on and USD, uh, USB debugging on. So what we need to add to Dragon OS you can see, come down here, uh, the Android SDK. So in Dragon OS, you'll need internet connection, of course. Let's see. We'll let that run, we'll install the SDK. Uh, in another video, maybe a later video, I'd like to, I do have a Samsung Galaxy S3 and I'd like to try out this, the X Goldmon, see what kind of results I can get on that. But hopefully I can get my hands on uh, maybe an AT&T or a, a T-Mobile unlocked S5. I'd love to try this out on, uh, on that, uh, let's see. You can kind of read down here below the arguments that we're going to use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll plug the Samsung 5 phone in. And like I said, developer options and USB debugging is on. First time we run this, uh, when, when uh, the Android SDK uh, interacts with the phone. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a prompt on the phone that uh, is going to ask me to authorize uh, the, the phone as well as uh, probably something that will come up uh, on the app uh, Super SU to allow the uh, root so let this finish You can see the results uh, that that uh, could be coming up here. Service mode on these phones, you can uh, pull up as if you're going to make a call. Star pound zero zero one one pound. I'm looking at the service mode on the phone here. I can see. Uh, some information uh, as to what I'm connected to. And hopefully here in a second I will be able to show that information being passed through to Dragon OS. Okay. So we're finished there. I've already got this other window up here. So you can see I'm specifying where the Android SDK is and what the device comes up. And we can check that. Some phones, uh, at least from what I was reading, you could see a device listed as a SDMA with some numbers after it. In my case, uh, it comes up at, as the TTY ACM zero. And if you scroll back up here a second, You can see, in this case, I'm going to use the dash A, the AT mode. Okay, so 
and it would help if we change directory user source I've already downloaded but I will uh, for the purposes of this video start fresh we come up here Copy. Change into the, have a look around. Okay, we can see it's there. Okay, I've got a prompt on my phone asking to allow USB debugging. And we can see now it's requesting a list and it's working.